Hello and good evening. Uh, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to compare two data sets uh, that have absolute values. And as an example I will use uh, Twitter. Uh, and this is a report that where you can follow who is following or unfollowing you on Twitter. So let's go through the example. Okay, so this is how the report looks like. I am going to unfollow myself. Just look at this uh, table from another account. Unfollow. And I'm going to refresh. And you see here that uh, Op Explorer Net uh, unfollow me. So it works. And uh, I am going to show you how I did that. It, it looks uh, worse than it is. I had to do a few tricks, but it works perfectly. Let me follow myself back. Uh, so, okay, so let's see how uh, I did this. If we go to edit queries, the first thing I need, uh, I did, it was to use the Twitter API uh, to download the uh, the followers, at least with the screen name and follower name. I didn't want anything else. I have a tutorial on how to do this if you uh, haven't seen it before, so I will post a link uh, in the description box. So now that we have this, what we're going to do is you right click and you duplicate and we are going to create this file. It looks exactly the same. But we are going to add this script. I've shown you in another video how to download data from Power Query. So this is exactly what this script does. And I have also a video explaining this that is in the description box. So if you want to follow that, um, just click on the link. I have add one thing that is not on that video. Uh, I am downloading a CSV file, but I'm adding to the file name the year, month, date, and the hour. So when I click OK, I'm going to show you. A new file like this will get downloaded. Let me press OK. And here you have the new file. OK? So it's very simple. It just extracts whatever data we have. So it's like setting up a baseline of our data. So what we want to do now is if somebody follows us or unfollow us, we want to be able to compare fresh data with old data, right? This is, this is like snapshots of your data, if you would say so. So when you come here, you click refresh, a new snapshot will be created, but you can compare with the previous file that you have downloaded. So what we're going to do is we want to capture these names to be able to choose which file we want to use with which data we want to compare. And for that, I imported the entire folder. You can see it here. So I remove all the columns. The only thing I have left is the name of the file and then right click and add them as a new query. You see them here. And if you see my query parameters, I have two. One is for the file path in case I've changed computers. And the other one is uh, this list of uh, file names. And the reason why I'm doing that is because what I want to do is, again, compare old data with new data. New data will come from here, old data will come from these files. And I want to choose which file I want to use. So when I did the last step is you import CSV file, one of them, right? And you use query parameters. The first query parameter will be file path in case you change computers, and the other one will be the baseline. So when you 
are going to see who is and follow you. What you can do is, okay, I want to check with yesterday's file or the file today at nine o'clock. You press OK, apply changes, and it will show you the data. In that case, there were no changes. But if we go to the first file which does have a change, you can see that those come back. Okay. So this works uh, as follows. Here I have uh, how many followers I have in case I don't remember. Uh, here it tells me who and follow me and a link to that user in case I want to contact the person or unfollow back or whatever. And here I have new followers. And this is how this works. If this is the list that you refresh and this unfollow you with link to user is the list, is your best baseline, your old data. So if you have somebody here that is not in your refresh list, it means that they unfollow you. But if you have somebody into in the new followers that is not in your old file, it means that you have a new follower. So I made it a little bit easy for me. I just said, okay, if unfollow you is blank, then that means there is a new follower. And here is the contrary. If new follower is blank, that means that somebody unfollow you. So um, this is it. Uh, I hope you <laughs> you will use this trick. It, remember, you can use it for to compare any type of data, not just Twitter data. This is just an example, but um, I think it's very useful because there are a lot of sources that they just give you the absolute values instead of how much you are growing. Like in Google Analytics, that you will get day by day how much you are increasing. It, a lot of data sources they will just give you the totals and that is not very helpful when you're trying to see how much you're growing and try to understand changes and things like that. It makes the, an, the analysis a little bit more complicated. So you can use this method to actually create a baseline of your data and do comparison out of that. You will be able to download this file if you are a member of Curval, which is completely free. So you have a link on the description box below. Okay, so this is all for today. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, let me know in the, in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a nice evening. Bye.